Well, we've now reached a time of the year the rivers have recently shut and before it gets too warm when I turn my attentions to Tench, Big Bream and Carp on the gravel pits I like to have a couple of trips to these type of venues and the venue that I'm talking about is this beautiful little estate lake and although this lake has got quite a heavy stocking of small carp that keep most anglers busy what I'm trying to catch somewhere amongst those small carp are one or two big perch so I've come here about half past six this morning quite an early start made my way down the lovely little track that leads to this beautiful lake and I wasn't long in parking the van up. I've got the minimal of kit, so I've just put my rucksack on my back, my float rod and the bare essentials, and I've made a beeline for this particular area. I've only fished this lake a couple of times before for perch, but the few pegs along this bank have been quite kind in the past, so that's why I've chose these swims. So it's gonna be quite simple fishing today, float fishing with lobworms and prawns to see if we can find a big perch or two. just got my first bite of the day it's been a long while coming to be honest I've been spraying red maggot around the float for about an hour and I've missed a couple of bites which I'm pretty sure were probably tiny little perch now this is either a very big perch or a, a carp there is a number of small carp in here it feels a little bit head shaky which is normally a sign of a perch but it does feel very heavy as well so I'll take my time and we'll We'll see if we've got a perch, but I'm not sure what that is just yet. I think there's one or two tench in here. I've never caught a tench, but I'm sure there are some tench. It's a lovely big perch. Well, how about that for a start? It's, like I say, it's took about an hour. And perseverance has paid off. Let's slip that in the net. Well, that's exactly what we came for on the first bite, that is. I'm really pleased with that. That's comfortably over two pound, that one. Well, how about that for a, a first perch of the day? That's a proper perch, that one. I'm gonna get the weighing gear out and see how big it is, but I'm gonna take the mat and the weighing gear and the perch up on the bank, on the grass with the unhooking mat, and we'll have a proper look. Well, I've zeroed the waist sling and it's the moment of truth now and it looks like it could be a really nice one. This one, if it, if it isn't three pound, it isn't going to be far off. So let's find out. Well, there we go. I wasn't far off with my estimate. I'd call that somewhere between three pound two and three pound three. But what a brilliant start. Well, how about that for a perfect perch? Three pound two, this one, and it's an excellent start to the day. I don't really mind if I don't catch any more, to be honest, but that's the exact reason why I drop onto these commercial type fisheries at this time of year, to see if I can find one or two of these. It looks even more impressive when I'm now returning it, but I'm quite keen to get another worm on the float rod and see if we can catch another one. about that for a start I can't believe it. I haven't fished this venue too much for perch in the past so it was a little bit of a unknown quantity for me but well three pound two for my first bite of the day that's uh, that's very promising indeed it's not actually the first time that me and Chris have headed out to, to fish for perch on the specimen series we did go out pre-covid on a couple of trips 
And to be fair, it was going quite well. We had a few nice perch to maybe sort of mid upper twos, a couple of really old fish on the first venue. And then we tried another venue on a separate down, had a few more nice perch, but sadly COVID kicked in and we all got put into lockdown and that put the brakes on it for us. So we decided now would be a really good time to, to start afresh, a completely new venue. And well, what a start, three pound two already. And hopefully that won't be the only perch of the day. I'm gonna keep spraying maggots at the float and see if I can get a few more bites. It's gone very quiet since that fish this morning, but sometimes that's what can happen, especially on these shallower venues. When the light levels get up, the perch can go off the feed, but hopefully, a bit later on this afternoon, if I keep plugging away and keep spraying the maggots out there, we can persuade that float to go under a couple more times. The perch fishing has been really quiet through the afternoon. All I've had since I last spoke to you is two very small perch. So whilst it is quiet, I'm gonna take a few minutes just to talk you through the tackle that I'm using. And it's nice, simple fishing. It's simple float fishing. And I'm using an Advanta X5 13 foot float rod. Although there is a power version, this is just the standard rod. And it's an absolute joy to play big perch on that rod. Coupled with that, I've got an Advanta X5 fixed spool reel. It's the smaller model that I put on this rod and that balances up nicely. And then loaded on that reel is some four pound line. And on the business end, again, keeping it super simple. I've got a nice big waggler. I think it's either a four or a five AA waggler held on the line with some rubber float stops. And then down on the business end, rather than nip loads of split shot on the line, I prefer to use an Olivet. I think it just sits a lot neater on the line. And then beneath that Olivet is one little dropper shot that will just sit on the bottom and I've got a size eight hook with either a prawn or a lobworm on. And I think it's quite important. I like to fish it slightly over depth, maybe six inches, so it's just laying on the bottom. And then I just keep spraying red maggots round the float, the odd bit of chopped worm, and hopefully the perch turn up. But I'm gonna persevere. Before long, these light vanils will start dropping a little bit. And I know when I had a handful of three pound perch this morning, I said I didn't mind if I don't catch any more, but I lied, I want another one now. So I'm gonna keep feeding the maggots and hopefully we're now coming into another bite time. Here we go, yeah. My word, that's been a long time coming this next bite and hopefully it's another perch. It could be a small carp, I'm not sure, but I did say that on that big one this morning. So fingers crossed, what I'm connected to now might be the intended species. It does feel a little bit head shaky, which is always a good sign. to take your time I'm only on light gear but that's half the fun of it it's more than strong enough as long as you play the fish nice and softly well I'm still undecided to whether this was a small carp or a big perch but hopefully we'll find out very soon if it is a perch it's a blooming nice one come on uh, it's uh, unfortunately it's one of these little carp I talked about That is what's known as a disappointment on a day's perch fishing. Well, it's still nice to see the float slide under and a bit of sport. There we are. Well, that certainly got my heart beating that did. I couldn't make my mind up whether that was a, another big perch or whether it was one of these little small carp. So I'm just gonna gently pop the hook out. 
Well, that is the reason why I choose to fish these, uh, these venues whilst it's still quite cool, because give it another month when it warms up properly and these will be really active. So that is the only one I've had so far today, which is quite a good sign when I'm perch fishing. And I guess it is a bit of sport on the float rod, but it's not what I came for. I'm quite pleased with that. To catch a three pound perch live for the camera on my specimen series is deemed a success in my eyes. It would have been really nice to catch a few backup fish, maybe some two pounders to fill in a few gaps, but you can't complain at that for a day's perch fishing. But that probably will be my last perch session. Now it's already feeling more like spring every day. And I'm thinking about tench, great big bream and a bit of carp fishing as well. So on that note, if there's any species you wanna see me fish for in my series, drop it in the comments below and don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to keep up with me and see what adventures I get up to.